the En-ROADS Climate Ambassador Program. One of the key motivations uh, for participating in this training is so that people can become En-ROADS Climate Ambassadors. We hope this is one of your motivations as well. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what this is, but first, some background. So think about it. In boardrooms, policy discussions, community centers, and classrooms, En-ROADS can ground people in the best available science on what climate solutions need to be leveraged. Our team at Climate Interactive gives dozens and dozens of events each month, and we're out there, but we're only so many people. How can we reach the billions of people around the world that we need to engage uh, around climate? How can we reach those critical decision makers who are making choices about today that will impact our future for decades to come? That's where you come in. That's where our whole network of En-ROADS Climate Ambassadors is running events with En-ROADS, sharing it with the world in communities in every corner of, of all the continents. And so where we are at right now is that we have 333 En-ROADS Climate Ambassadors in 48 countries. Now, by the time you're watching this video, I'm sure that number will be much higher. Um, these ambassadors spe speak 24 different languages. Um, they're using our tool in all of the dozen different languages that it's already available in. Um, but by launching this new program and having you all participate in it, in it we hope to grow that number and really build out the, the ambassadors uh, that are sharing this work, that are able to be on hand to reach new audiences who maybe aren't thinking about climate change or have questions about which climate actions are highest leverage and that kind of thing. So how do you even become an ambassador? You can learn more about the entire Climate Ambassador Program at climateinteractive.org slash ambassadors. But let me tell you a little bit about how you can become an ambassador because you're already on your way. Um, so first, the main thing about becoming an En-ROADS Climate Ambassador is going through this training. Here you are participating in the Mastering En-ROADS course. Complete this training, going through the different modules, taking the quizzes, watching the videos, and taking part of any of the other experiences along the way. Then after that, review the event free materials, or perhaps during. We'll, we'll provide links um, so that you can find facilitator guides and the different materials for running En-ROADS events, like the En-ROADS workshop or the climate action simulation. Then after that, watch two other people lead events. Now, this might be a part of the training series where you get to see um, someone from the Climate Interactive team leading a workshop. We have uh, events uh, being held regularly. You can find them on our website. Um, and join an uh, online event, or maybe you have an opportunity to, to uh, participate in a live event um, and can, can watch that. Then the next thing is to lead two events yourself. Now, this doesn't need to be big events. They don't have to be, uh, you know, with huge numbers of people. It could be a really small group that you're just testing and practicing uh, running an event with. Whatever is accessible to you. Um, and run those events. And then the other key part about it that we really encourage, because we want to create this habit of always learning and always striving to get better and better. So we really encourage you to ask how you did. Ask people, what could I, how can I improve? Find five participants during your two first events and ask them for constructive feedback. Uh, so that way you can improve and say, you know, learn whether it was helpful to them or whether you could change something and improve. And then the final thing, after you've run your two events and participated in the training, uh, submit your application to be an En-ROADS Climate Ambassador. When you get accepted to be an En-ROADS Climate Ambassador, we will provide you a certificate with your name on it, uh, acknowledging your achievement. Uh, it is definitely a big achievement. It takes a lot of work to become uh, comfortable with all the skills uh, required to pull off of an En-ROADS event. And alongside that, you'll also get to be a part of this broad, this network that we're building of En-ROADS Climate Ambassadors. Currently, uh, you can see we have En-ROADS Climate Ambassadors all over the world. Um, and we would put your name on here with your picture if you're, if you're interested, and then you can join all of these ambassadors uh, here. And what we tend to do with our ambassadors is that we have monthly calls, uh, sometimes they're quarterly, uh, where ambassadors can have a meetup, get together um, and meet each other. 
share exchange ideas, sometimes get uh, ideas and we'll share news about the latest features that we're about to release within En-ROADS. Um, then another component is, is that we see a lot of ambassadors using this as a as a professional development, as a way to set themselves apart from, from other climate leaders, as oh, one more tool in their toolkit when um, talking about the, the skills that they have and being able to lead conversations about climate change. It has taken people uh, within companies, educators, uh, people within community groups in all different directions that uh, they, didn't, they didn't think they couldn't have imagined before. Um, and that's been one of the really exciting things to see is to see how people can really transform themselves and, um, and, and become a leader who's leading these kinds of events and sharing them. So I really hope you'll join us on this full journey to, and get to a point where you can apply to be an En-ROADS Climate Ambassador. I look forward to getting to know you and uh, connecting in the months and maybe even years to come. Uh, certainly this, uh, this work will, will demand a lot of us. Onward.